let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsa's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsa, I'm your host Bilsa. Today we're in the Chevy Silverado because we got a line on some parts for the old Chevy R10, or a lot of these you'd say C10. The line of some ball joints, tie rod and shocks, and this and that, and the other thing, all brand new in the boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that because now that you know, I'm into changing the draw spindles. I'm into shocks, ball joints, and everything else. There's no sense of putting it together with all old parts, especially most of them parts look original to me, but I could be wrong, but they look original to me. So we're gonna take a ride in town, pick up the old man, check out these parts, see if we can't get a good deal. Yeah, yeah. Signal was still on, Jim. I had to pull over back there on the highway because the old battery was dead on the GoPro and I haven't even used yet. I don't know what's up with that. That's probably one of them used batteries we got in there. They're junk. But today's Tuesday. A lot of people are back to work today, but we're not. We're off. We work Fridays. So we took Monday and Tuesday off. So if you're working today, ha <laughs> ha. Trick, that reminds me. I gotta put this video today. I don't know how many videos. I used to be like two weeks in advance on videos. Now, zip. We're playing the old Xbox with the daughter there. She's a little addicted she is, so don't get much done when that thing's on. So I gotta stay away from that because I quit playing games a long time ago and that's why I took up too much of my time. Leave your comments down below if you're a hardcore gamer. Me, not so much. I don't have time for it. It's a problem. Ah, the guy built his own roof racks. Look at that. Freaking right you did, eh? Nothing like a couple of pressure treated two by fours. She works good, Jim. Nice work, Captain. Wouldn't want one of them to come flying off through your windshield though, let me tell you what. We'll get rolling here, get into town, pick up the old man, go over, take a look at these parts, and I'll show you if I get them. How's that? Sounds good? Okay, see you in a few seconds. Well, we did good. We got a box of parts, all four shocks, two lowers, two upper ball joints, two outer tie rod ends, and that's about it. That's all I need really, and I got a real good deal on them. So there you go, all I need to do now is order inner tie rods and the links that go between them because I want to replace them too because they're all gummed up on mine and just a mess so I want to put everything new suspension in the truck that way she's good to go and now I got the rear shocks like I needed in the back friggin right that's awesome so when we get home here we'll slap in a couple upper ball joints kind of go from there maybe put a shock or two on I don't know yet we'll have to see we'll have to see I don't really 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 know what's really going on I don't really 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 know what to tell you right now until we get home well, we're back home, and here's my box of parts. We got front shocks, friggin' right we do, which are the wrong ones. Oh God, here we go. <sighs> got back shocks, which are also the wrong ones. We have ball joints though, which are the right ones. Thank God. <laughs> right there, those are the right ones. I think, maybe not. Nope, they're not. They're not the right ones either. Okay, none of these parts are right. Well, those parts are all wrong, so we can't use them. Hey, it happens. Thank God I didn't pay for them first <laughs> because they're not gonna work. Anybody that has an S10, I have all these parts. Steve, do you need an S10 parts? Leave your comments down below. Captain, actually, I'm gonna call you right now. But while we're down here, we might as well dig this out, and I'm pretty sure there might be a pressure ring in here, maybe that we have to get out. So we better check that because we pound on this ball joint for months if there's a ring on her. But I'm pretty sure these are just Preston. I think the S10s are ringed on them. I can't remember these ones. I'm not seeing nothing yet. No, there's nothing there, Jim. I wonder if we can pound this fucker out with a sledge I just picked up and then we'll push him in with a push. Let's try that, eh? Let's put a jack under this thing and just give her a couple of whacks and see what happens. There we go. Where's my sledge? I just picked up a sledge at Princess Auto yesterday. Look at that thing. You moving? It is moving too. Holy dick! Maybe. Let me feel. Maybe not. Looks like it's moving. Freaking right it is. There you go, Jim. Not much taking that out, is there? I freaking did it. Yeah, I did. Decent. So there's the lower ball joint out. Upper ball joint out. Just gonna remove the tie rod end and the shock roof ski. And then we should be able to get somewhere. Maybe. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Why wouldn't you? I would. But we're gonna wire wheel this out and clean it all up. So the next new one will go right in there. Berg, we're doing good. And then we can kind of clean up all this shit. 
Hey, leave a comment down below if you know what the hell that come from. That fell out of somewhere and I don't know where when I was taking everything apart. Kind of weird looking. We're gonna need to clean these up. We're gonna need to move them over here. We're gonna need to keep all this stuff for now until we know what's going on. And this side the other part of the tank. Because I don't wanna throw nothing out until it's back together. And we can also throw that out and clean this up and move this. And there we go. Now that I've done that, take a little vacuum and get a suck job around here. Where's my vacuum? Oh, it's right in front of me. Sometimes you gotta clean up as you go. That way you don't make too much of a mess. If you know what I mean. Look at this mess. Okay. By the time I've done this, I'm gonna have painted these control arms. Five times. Do you believe me? I would. Because you're freaking right I have. Gonna have been kinda done that. Hey? So now what we gotta do is get that shock out of there. We wanna get that shock out and we wanna get this tie rod off. Because we gotta change them, so why not just do it now and have it done? So what are we gonna need for this? We're gonna need is a big ass freaking socket. Let's see what size it is. Watching? Probably not. Hold on, I'll get you in a minute. Let me just see what size this is. Oh, you know, thank God the wheel wells are out of this thing right now. Makes it for a lot easier to get this out. Holy, that thing's huge. Not that big. There it is. Here it is. It's a, just in case you want to know, it's a holy, I can't read it because it's beat to sh 15 16 Captain. Holy, that thing's tight, man. Oh, holy, I got it. Give her a couple whacks, she should come loose and fall out. So believe it or not, the nut come right off that thing. Well, that's pretty impressive. Look at that. There it is. Friggin' right there it is. So we got her, Jim. Look at that shock. She's a beaut, Clark. Oh yeah, she's dicked. Big time. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. But she come off pretty easy, so there's another job done. Well, hold on to that, because I don't know if that comes with a, fr with a new one or not. I don't think so, but I'm not looking forward to taking that apart, because it looks like somebody welded it on there. There we go. So now, what we need to do is take off this rotten tie rod end, which is probably not gonna be fun, I'll tell you right now. Let's get under here and have a gander at her and see what size it is. Probably the same size, let's check. Sure is, there it is. Can you get the ratchet on there? Maybe? Come on. You ever do that? You ever start a ratchet in the wrong spot? It sucks. Okay, so. Oh, we're turning the steering. Is it key on? It must be. Holy. I know what you're thinking, the cotter pin bill, but there ain't one in there. I'm telling you right now. Let's get the friggin' Torker Sweat 2020 on there with a long extension. Ooh, that friggin' heater works good, boys, girls, peoples. Sweat me right out of here. It's awesome. I'd rather be sweated out of here than freezing out of here. Ready? Look at that. Someone please tell me why I was hand bombing that or trying to. Careful. Get on there, you There she is. Look at that, Captain. Now we gotta get it off, which we'll use one of my trusty, uh, actually let's use a trusty hammer, see if it comes off with it. If not, I'll just fork the mother. Just fork it. So shove this in here like this, and we'll, not gonna do that at all. We're forking, because we're not reusing it. Nothing like a good fork job. Hey, stay away from my damn doodad. There she is. There we go, so that's off. Set that over there, wait for them ones to come in, and now we'll go to the other side. We're on a good roll here. Let's keep it going. Oh, dick. All right, so let's do the same thing. We'll uh, start by removing the ball joint. Maybe. Holy, let's start by getting that thing out of the way. Right on. I said let's start by getting that out of the way and put it right in my way. Sludge. There we go. Ball joint out. Next. What do you want to do next? Shock? Or tie rod. You think we'll get lucky this time? I doubt it. But you never know. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, we did. Can you see me? Sorry about that. I'm right your way, aren't I? I apologize. Inchworm. Very right, inchworm. Oh, still inchworm. There we go. Bolt out. Shock out. That easy. Lemon squeezy. Friggin' right that easy lemon squeezy. I can see some more cleanup of the frame we have to do here before we can put it back together though. Like, look at that piece comes off. This piece is gonna fall off. Karen freaking tee it. Forgot some of this I did. We'll get it cleaned up though. No rush. So now what we gotta do? 
Tie rod, tie rod, ramrod. We're gonna go back a little bit, but we're a little too far over this way. Up there, maybe? I went too far, didn't I? Tell me the truth. Grandma's wanna know. Why wouldn't you? Let's see. No, we're pretty much in the wrong spot, I think. We should be all right. Let's find out. Yeah, I wonder if I can pull it. Yep, sure can. I love pulling it. Do you believe me? I would. No, nope, that's not gonna work. We gotta go back. Way back. Get in there, you little bitch. Oh, it's just on slightly the wrong angle of fucking dangle. What is the chances of that? Pretty good. Let's come back this way again. Come on. Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> we gotta figure out a way to get her on there because I can't lose that my hand. I'm getting too old for that shit. I am. Maybe if I was on a hoist. There it is. Right there, we got her. Okay, impact gun. Get over here. Airline, get over here. Get in there. Here we go. Got her, Jim. Sure is nice when you have uh, the inner wheel wells out of these things to do this. Let me tell you. Bring this all the way back over. Now we're gonna lock the steering. Okay, so we'll fork you and we'll pound on her. Terrible. Easy. Make sure you don't hit your hand with this mini sledge because it will do some damage. There she goes. Look at the mess on that thing. Oh yeah, friggin' right. That's gonna be mint when I'm done. It's all gonna be brand new and looking nice. Nice and sharp, friggin' right it is. So there we go, captains. So we got the shocks off, the bottom bolt joints off, the top bolt joints off, and all the tie rods off. So we're right on line here to get new ones put in. So now we just gotta wait for them to come in and then we can Bob's your uncle on that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you did. And if you didn't, hit the notification bell bar anyways, why wouldn't you? But love you all. Hopefully everybody had a great day like I did. And until the next one, you know what to do for now.